India will commission its second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine INS Ariat tomorrow. India has suspended the deal for 10 Cam of 31 helicopters from Russia due to uncertainties arising from the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Lucknow-based PTC Industries has procured a hot rolling mill from the US for manufacturing high-quality plates and sheets in titanium alloys for defense and aerospace applications. The Indian Army has placed the second order of 73,616 rifles, taking the total number to 1.45 lakh. Prime Minister Modi spoke with the Russian President, and he shared insights from his recent visit to Ukraine, and underlined the importance of dialogue on diplomacy to achieve an abiding and peaceful resolution of the conflict. Several European companies have expressed strong interest in acquiring 7.62mm medium machine guns from India. De Havilland Canada, which holds over 95% of the global seaplane market share, is exploring the possibility of establishing a supplier base in India to support its aircraft platforms. Indian Navy frigate INS Tubber has arrived in Spain for a two-day visit, to conduct exercises with the Spanish Navy. After completing full-scale in-water testing off the coast of Southern California, Northrop Grumman's Mount to Ray prototype uncrewed underwater vehicle is all set to start extended missions to the depths of the ocean. The DRDO is actively working on developing fluid thrust vectoring technology for its upcoming Gatak unmanned combat aerial vehicle program. The fluid thrust vectoring technology offers a unique approach to aerodynamic control, overcoming some of the limitations of traditional mechanical systems. The fluidic thrust vectoring technology has fewer moving parts to fail, improves reliability, and reduces weight structural complexity and volume, and it can be more easily integrated with the engine and airframe, thus streamlining the design process. The DRDO and Mazagin dock shipbuilders are set to engage in a competitive design race for the Indian Navy's upcoming Project 76 to build 12 next-generation submarines in two phases. The DRDO has received the green light to collaborate with the Indian Navy's Warship Design Bureau to develop a new conventional submarine design, while Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders will unveil its submarine design by 2028, positioning it as a potential counter-offer. The Indian Navy will evaluate both submarine concepts before making a final decision. The Indian Air Force has decided to implement a second life extension program for its MiG-29 new PG fighter jets, that will increase the operational lifespan of these aircraft by 10 more years. The MiG-29 new PG was originally slated for retirement in 2027, but it will now remain in service until 2035, as the induction of the Tejas Mark II is facing delays. The Tejas Mark II is expected to start arriving in 2030, that will initially replace the aging Jaguars, before gradually phasing out the MiG-29 new PG squadrons from 2035 onwards, and replace the Mirage 2000 after 2035. The Indian Air Force is considering acquiring additional C-295 medium tactical transport aircraft to supplement and eventually replace its fleet of AN-32 turboprop transport aircraft. The C-295 with its 9-ton payload capacity, offers a comparable capability to the AN-32, which the Air Force plans to start from 2030. The Indian production line of C-295 is set to continue until around 2032, which presents a viable replacement option. Today's top 3 comments. 